Hi everyone, I'm Rose and this is Mama Rosie's Corner. I hope everything, everyone is doing well. Let me take a moment before I start talking about the subject of the day and explain that I have not been around for a couple of weeks because my fibro has been beating me to death. Uh, it's been a rough time. So with my flare-up acting up, I had a hard time focusing and talking about things that are supposed to be positive when I'm fe feeling pretty down. On that note, I want to talk today about honesty. Um, not just being honest in life, because that's not really the subject at hand. All of us try to be honest with others. We try really hard to, uh, to be the best that we can be when we're with other people. We try to enhance our relationships and be loyal and be truthful, because being truthful is part of having a positive relationship. The problem comes in when we have to be honest with ourselves. And being honest with yourself is a really big challenge because, well, because reality hurts and nobody really wants to deal with the things that they're not doing for themselves. Nobody really wants to deal with, you know, the challenges that you have to face to make changes. So before you can do that, you really have to take a good look at yourself. Over the past couple of weeks, my fibro's been in flare-up so bad, and I had to fight with myself a lot because I felt guilty that I wasn't walking. Um, you know, it was very limited. My, my walking stats over the past couple of weeks have been terrible, and we were finishing a competition at Weight Watchers. Not a competition, but a walking challenge, and it was the last two weeks, and I really wanted to tough it out, and I really wanted to have the best numbers that I had the whole time. During the eight-week challenge for the first six weeks, I was averaging about 20 to 22 miles a week, and I thought, that's really great. The whole time I had this goal, and I wanted to get to 25 miles, so now I'm down to the last two weeks, and my fibro kicks in like lightning bolts, and I'm getting up every day, and everything is hurting, and my body is beating me up, and I'm trying to keep walking, and it's getting worse, and it's getting worse. And I had no choice. I had to lay down. I had to rest. I had to stop walking for a while. Not walk, stop, not stop completely, but very limited. You know, just what my activity was for the day. I couldn't actually get out there and take my walks. I certainly couldn't run. My feet got really bad. And, you know, again, I was stuck with this reality that I couldn't get accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished because of my physical limitations because of fibromyalgia rocking my world as always and it's hard it's a hard reality for me because I really want to get to goal I'm I'm so close to breaking 200 it's such a big deal in my life I haven't been there in 24 years so it's exciting and I want to be able to move forward and I just can't so for me honesty with myself falls into the category of accepting my limitations and knowing that I'm not going to be able to do certain things whether I like it or not I'm stuck and I can push and I can try and I can do the best that I am capable of doing but that's all I can do and I can't beat myself up for not being like another person or not being capable of of doing things as fast as someone else. I have to slow myself down. I can't exercise like other people. I can't do weightlifting. I mean, I'm, I'm limited. And it stinks. And I don't want it to be that way. In the past, those things stopped me. They made me question my ability to get it done. And I, I would set myself up to fail because I would think, well, I can't do this and I can't do that. And well, I can't do that. And so... You know, it's not going to get done. No, what I've learned is it can't means redirect. It doesn't mean won't. It means that you have to find a new solution. And so I had to start accepting my own reality. And my reality is I have physical limitations that stop me regularly from taking steps that I would like to take like other people. Um... And I have to be honest about that because the minute I'm not, I get angry. 
and I get upset and I get depressed and then I want to quit and I can't quit. It, it's not even an option anymore. If I quit, I go back to all of the health issues being a hundred times worse. So yes, do I have limitations? I do. I have to be honest about that. But I can also be honest with myself in that I can still accomplish goals. It's just going to take me a little bit longer. Is it a harsh reality? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> There's not one good thing I could say about that. I don't like the fact that I'm limited. And I've had a lot of people in my life come back at me with, well, you're not trying hard enough. Well, you're being lazy. Well, you know, you're not making an effort, but I am. And that's another thing about honesty is in the process of being honest with yourself, you can't let other people tell you you're not doing that or there are different reasons for doing that because that makes you feel guilty. Be honest with yourself. Accept your circumstances. Do the best that you can do and screw what everybody else thinks. You have to answer to you and that's on every level. If you are trying to lose weight but once a week you have to have a giant piece of cheesecake because it's the only way you get through your week well, enjoy your cheesecake, but don't expect the weight loss to happen real quick. Expect it to be slow because you're going to have that piece of cheesecake. If you make a choice in life, you have to accept the outcomes of those decisions. And the only way you can make changes or you can make it better is if you're willing to be honest to yourself about the outcome. Did it work? Did it not work? And why? And if you can work yourself through that process and you can be honest with yourself, you can move on. In my past, my fibro stopped me. And it stopped me because I didn't want to admit that it could stop me and that I had to accept what I couldn't do. But I also had to take advantage of what I could do. And that changed everything. Because learning to take advantage of what I could do now made everything possible. So be real with yourself. Don't doubt. Ask the question. Be honest with your answers. And find your solutions. This is Rose. And this is Mama Rosie's Corner. Have a great day.